Hey guys, Mike Mo here. This is just a quick little review of one of the fast chargers that I had recently gotten for the iPhone 10. Um, this will actually, of course, fast charge other devices up to 10 watts, basically for the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, S8, S7. Basically, the Galaxy line, Qi charging, you can get up to the full 10 watts of charging. On a regular Qi device, such as I have an iPhone 6S Plus right here with the Mophie uh, battery pack that has the Qi charging, I'm not going to get the full on 7.5 watts that I should expect to get, which is the Apple iOS fast charging uh, equivalent because they only max out 7.5 watts. Construction is really great. Uh, it's this one right here, by the way, and it is it has 807 four star reviews. That's pretty impressive, right? Now, this was cheap. It was only $29.99 with a QC 3.0 adapter that was also included. So it's it's a nice thing, but they came out with a newer one. And there's a newer model, it's $33.99, uh, a and a 7.5 watts fast wireless charger. Now, I can't recommend this unit. This is not my favorite unit out there uh, for a number of reasons. Okay, so we went over some of the good points and that's pretty much saying that it can do the fast charging for the iPhone 10, which I'm actually recording this video on right now, so I'm not gonna show that. But um, this actually is different from this other one, let's say the Incipio, which I also got roughly around the same time. This one charges up to 15 watts, but it's not gonna do any good for any of us Apple users because the max is gonna max out at seven and a half watts. The construction quality is pretty solid. This feels like a nice heavy puck, like just really, really sturdily built. This thing could hurt you if you threw it. So it's not gonna be super great for traveling with just because of the weight, but it definitely feels, and I, I, I definitely can see how this thing could, could survive a fall. And uh, it, it's weighty so that it doesn't shift and move around, uh, which is pretty annoying with some other cheaper or actually cheap, more cheaply built units. And, I, and I'm, I'm gonna compare it to the Incipio one here, the Qi wireless 15 watt one, mostly because this feels like a, like a real toy. Like, like they just put on whatever cheapest thing that they could put on, put a little bit of rubber on it, and then sold it for 60 bucks. This guy was only $30. This feels really heavy, weighty, and hefty. And um, it's it's got rubber down on the bottom as well, which helps to prevent it from moving around too much. Uh, it says output is 10 watts max. Uh, of course, it's not gonna matter to me on iPhone 10 because the max I can do is seven and a half watts. But getting to the point of it, the big problem with this is that it is a huge vampire power suck. This is the Belkin Conserve Insight Monitor. Sorry, it's a little dusty. Without anything on it, it's constantly taking 1.5 watts of power. Now, I normally wouldn't have been testing this that much, except for the fact that when I went down to the AC adapter, which is, of course, included in the package for the $29 price point, I've noticed that it was warm. And that's when I said, hey, it's warm. There's nothing on here. There's nothing charging. This doesn't even feel like it's using much of any power. But... It needs that power, I guess, to do something with it. Maybe to sense, to do some sensing of what's going on in here, uh, whether or not you actually have a Qi device on here or not. But it's constantly using one and a half watts until, until of course, you put something on there to charge. So right now it's pulling in 7.4 watts. But one and a half watts is constantly being lost all the time. If you think about that, that that is just something that you don't want. You want to be more green for the environment. It's just not gonna fly. Contrast that to my other one, and I'm comparing this a lot to it because this is my only other fast charger, the Incipio Ghost, uh, which I also got around for $30. But I couldn't find it on Amazon for $30. Maybe they just got sold out or whatnot. But this one only takes less than 0.5 watts or 0.5 watts when it's plugged in. So this wastes three times as much electricity just sitting there. And I probably in use, it probably wastes maybe less than that. But still, one and a half watts completely sucking power all the time generating a little bit of heat from the ac adapter so that's definitely that's definitely something now it's not just the ac adapter it's actually the unit itself that's that's sucking it because i tried using the included ac adapter which is a qc uh, 3 as advertised and it, it actually does 
fine just by itself. It's actually the fast wireless charger. So if you're going to use this, um, unfortunately, the smart portion of this does not work, work well with this combination, even though this is the combination that they saw it with. And so I definitely wouldn't recommend this. One, it's too heavy. Two, it sucks one and a half watts of power all the time. Uh, three is that there's probably a newer one out there that's probably more efficient and probably uses less power and probably does not generate as much heat. Now, I've not noticed any difference in the heat that this generates when I'm charging something versus uh, any other units. But there are some new ones out there that have venting and cooling that's built in, which could be a, a plus if you're worried about ultimate battery life, a negative if you are really sensitive to the noises of fans like I am, so I'm gonna find that to be a little bit annoying uh, as well. So, again, I would probably skip on this model I'd probably check to see if there are any other newer models, and unfortunately, no, none of the reviews actually mention what a, what a suckage of power this thing does uh, just sitting in standby. All right, that's it for this short video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.